welcome in guys good morning good morning i'm excited for today's topic today we will be retrieving our financial breakthrough and i'm so so excited for this because you know a lot of people in the body of christ are experiencing lack in their finances including myself and the lord has shown me something he showed me something yesterday specifically about finances that's why i'm like we need to pray about our finances i pray that you guys rested well i know it's really early right now five in the morning but it's important for us to prioritize prayer and to prioritize our time with god So make sure that you like and share the live with other people because I'm sure this is going to be a blessing and I know that God is wanting to move today and I'm just excited to see what he does, you know, I'm really excited to see what he does and I'll definitely do like more announcements later on after I finish sharing with you guys what has been going on. So definitely keep liking and sharing the live. And I'm just declaring that, you know, the heavens are open to our prayers today in the name of Jesus Christ. And let's just give thanks to the Lord because we are blessed, you know. We need to rejoice in the Lord always because He has blessed our lives in so many ways. Regardless of the things that we are wanting or needing from Him, we are still so, so blessed. So, Father, we just thank you right now for your glory. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for your honor. We thank you for your love, your forgiveness, your grace, and your mercy that is upon our life, Father. I just pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that your will be done in everything concerning our life, our families, our homes, our jobs, our schools, our businesses, that your will will be done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Father, that if anything is trying to stand in the way of your plans to hinder it, it will be taken down immediately. And we just declare that your plans will flourish in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. So we just thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. And we know that we are always blessed because the Lord has declared us blessed from the very beginning of time. So we just declare, Father, that we know that no financial curse can overtake us no generational curse of poverty can overtake us you know I declare that every curse of poverty that may be over our lives will be broken in the name of Jesus like I declare that today is a day of miracles and you know we serve a God that still does miracle signs and wonders and I believe that the Lord is going to move on our behalf today I believe that before this week even ends we will all receive the financial breakthrough that we are needing before the month even ends before the year even ends we are going to receive that financial breakthrough that we are needing from God and you know finances is definitely something that is important for us to have a lot of people a lot of times they they feel guilty for wanting finances or praying to God for finances but it's truly something that we need in our everyday life so it is okay to pray for your finances to increase. It is okay to pray to be established in your finances, you know. So, Father, we just thank you right now for the financial blessings that you are pouring upon us. We know, Father, that you have already ordained financial blessings to be part of our story. So we just declare that we receive it in the name of Jesus. And if the enemy is trying to do anything to hinder us from receiving our financial breakthroughs, that plot and scheme of the enemy will be taken down and destroyed immediately in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord. We know that no matter what the enemy tries to do to hinder us, his plans will never prevail. And we just pray, Father, against every spirit of self-sabotage as well. Because we know that when you bless us, we will be responsible with the blessing that you provide us with. In Jesus' name. So I just declare that no generational curse of poverty has authority over our life as believers. And I just declare that our, our bank accounts are being refreshed. You guys know of that scripture in Proverbs 11.25 where it says, A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. And this is something that is so, so, so true because 
when I learned about what it truly meant to help others, even when you may be in a time of need, even when you may be struggling yourself, still walk out in faith and still give to others. You know, there were times where I barely had any money and I still sold into other people, other ministries, because I know that, you know, our God is a God that blesses and he recompenses us. We never do anything in this life in vain. God, he truly sees all of it and he truly wants to bless us for all of that as well. So remember that when you are generous and you give to others, you will always be refreshed. And this is honestly something that is so, so important to remember. And you know, if you don't have a giving heart and giving is something that is difficult for you, you should definitely ask God to help you to overcome being stingy or just being like, you know, scared to give to others because God loves when we have a giving heart. So, you know, when you give, remember that God, he will always bless you when you give. And this is honestly such an important principle. And you read it over and over in the word as well. He shows us many times that when we are giving to others, we will always receive back. And, you know, when we give, it doesn't always have to be financially either. It could be anything that you have to offer. I remember one summer, last summer I was walking and I had a cold water bottle in my bag. And as I was pulling my water bottle out, I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. And then I look and I see a homeless man there and the Lord immediately tells me, give this man your water because it was so, so hot that day. And I was just like, you know what, I'm going to give him my water because, you know, I'm thirsty right now. I really wanted to have that drink of water at that moment. But I knew that giving the man the water was so much better because I could always go to the store and buy myself another water. And then I had a conversation with the man and it turned out he was a believer. And it was just so nice to have a conversation with him. He was honestly so nice. I just remember praying for him and everything. But... It doesn't always have to be money when you're giving. So remember also that when you are giving to the poor, you are giving to Jesus. Remember in Matthew 25, this is what it says. So Matthew 25 says this. Then these righteous ones will reply, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink or a stranger and show you hospitality? or naked and give you clothing? When did we ever see you sick or in prison to visit you? And the king will say, I will tell you the truth. When you did it for the one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you were doing it for me. So always remember that when you are helping the poor and when you are giving to others, you are also giving to God. And this is something that is so, so important to remember. You know, God, he, he sees the way we treat those that are in need and it's so important for us to also humble ourselves and not be so caught up in our own situations that we are scared to actually give to other people that are you know needing desperately that are needing more than we may need and I find that in these situations it almost seems like God he gives you your return so much faster when you are willing to give to the poor so also some of you need to recognize what season you are in today we are praying for our financial breakthrough and to retrieve everything that has been taken from us or retrieve everything that the enemy is trying to withhold from us but just know your season because sometimes you will be like god will bring you to a dry place where you may not have an abundant an abundance of finances but remember that god he will still always provide no matter what it doesn't matter what season you're in in your life. God will always make sure that you have what you need. Just like when, um, you know, Moses, he struck the rock and water started to flow out of the rock and they were able to drink water. And I believe this is in Numbers 2011. So it says, and Moses lifted up his hand and struck the rock with his staff twice and water came out abundantly and the congregation drank and their livestock. So it doesn't matter what season you are in. You could be, you know, in a desert season, a dry season. God will always make sure that 
you have what you need. He's going to always make sure that you have food, that you have water, and that he is always providing for you. So we just thank you right now, Father, for always providing for us financially. Whether we have an abundance of finances or not, we just give thanks to you for every single thing that you have provided us with right now. We just thank you so much, Father, for every single thing that you continue to provide us with. And we trust that as time goes on, you will continue to establish us in our wealth. And we just declare that when we are established in our wealth, we will not have to toil painfully in it. Because if you read in Proverbs 10, 22, it says, The blessing of the Lord make rich and adds no sorrow with it. So if you, if you notice that when God blesses you with finances, thank you so much for the gifts, you guys. But when you notice that God is blessing you with finances or something, and you see that you are painfully toiling in it, that just shows that you have a spiritual enemy that is trying to frustrate the blessing that God has provided you with. Because it's not God's goal to give us a blessing and then to have us, you know, suffer in it or struggle in it. So I just declare that every enemy that is coming up against us is being taken down right now by heavenly armies in the mighty name of Jesus. Our finances will not be withheld from us in the name of Jesus Christ. And especially when the enemy sees what God is doing concerning your finances, he's going to try to, you know, take it or hinder it in some way, shape, or form. But we just declare that we reject that in the name of Jesus. When we receive our finances, we will not toil painfully. We will not be in sorrow. We will be able to enjoy the abundance. Because a lot of us, most of the time, what happens is, we are spending most of our time fighting for the blessing and fighting for the things that it is that God has for us. So when we receive those things, we don't want to continue to fight and continue to toil. So we just pray right now that, Father, we enjoy these things that you bless us with. And if the enemy tries to come in and frustrate our life and frustrate our blessings, he will be taken down by the heavenly armies. So Luke 16.10 says, One who is faithful in a very little also is faithful in much. And the one who is dishonest in very little is also dishonest in much. So also remember to be faithful in what it is that God has for you now. You know, be responsible with the little that you have now in your finances. Show God that you are responsible with the little that he has provided you with. Because sometimes this could be a way of God trying to equip us as well. So even if you don't have an abundance of finances right now, still be responsible with your finances and create financial plans of, you know, how your bills are going to be paid every month and what, are you, what you're going to be doing with your money. Don't just spend your money anyhow because the patterns that you develop now will definitely still be patterns that you hold on to when you have those finances. So if you are not being responsible now with the little that you have, when you get much, it's still going to be like your money is going fast, your money is going through your hand like water, and that's not what we want. So Father, we just give thanks to you today for every single thing that you have provided for us. We thank you so much for every stream of income that you have provided for us. Thank you so much, Father, for our jobs. Thank you so much, Father, for every help that we have where we are receiving financial blessings in our life. And we trust and know that you will continue to increase us in our finances in the name of Jesus. And I just declare it right now, some of you will receive your financial miracle before the end of this week, before the end of this month, before the end of this year, that financial miracle that you are really praying for God to release to you. I declare that it will be released to you in the name of Jesus Christ. So I also want to mention Proverbs 28, 27. So Proverbs 28, 27 says this, whoever gives to the poor will not want, but he who hides his eyes will get a curse. And this is something that is, this is another, another important principle for us to remember because it shows God, it shows us how important it is to God for us to give to the poor. So God is saying that when we give to the poor, we will never be in a place of lack. 
And he's saying, but those who, who hide their eyes will get many curses. And, you know, this just reminds me of something. Like, I remember I had went to church with a friend. And after the church service, the church, they gave us free food. And it was free food from Trader Joe's. It was fruits, vegetables, um, like snacks and things like that. And I remember when they were giving us that food at church, I was just like, I really don't want it because I want that food to be given to someone who truly, truly needs food that cannot afford to buy food. So I was telling the leaders, like, I don't want to I don't want to take this food. And then, you know, I just have it when someone else really needs it. And my friend, they also, you know, they took the food just because the church was like, you guys should take it because they didn't have like a refrigerator to keep it in for the night. So while we were on the train, a homeless guy is like walking past and he's screaming. He's like, I'm hungry. Somebody please help me. Some He's like, please, I'm hungry. Can I get some food? Does anybody have any food? And I remember standing there on the platform with my friend and I automatically was like, I'm going to give them this bag of food because, you know, I didn't need it. But my friend, they stood there and instead of them open up, opening up their bag to give it to the homeless person, they pulled the bag close to them. And they are not someone that is lacking in finances for food or anything. So I remember telling them how important it really is to give because how is it that we were standing there at church just now saying we don't even need this food and now that we are on the train on our way home, we see someone that is in need of food. So I just really saw that as God saying, this is someone that I want you to bless. You know, this was somebody that we were supposed to give this food to. So just always remember to be generous in everything and don't be scared to be giving and have a giving heart, you know. And I truly think that it's so, so important to have a giving heart. So many people, when they receive blessings and finances, they automatically want to hoard it for themselves. But I truly believe that our finances and everything should be used to help people in need and advance the kingdom of God. So that's just something that I wanted to share with you guys. And I think it's so, so important to remember this. So in John 3, 8, it's mentioned that the reason why Jesus Christ was manifested was so that he would destroy the works of the devil. So I truly pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that every demonic plan and assignment that has been placed over our finances will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I declare that every bit of the works of the devil that is upon our finances will be completely dismantled and destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I just declare that financial curses and financial burdens is not our portion as children of God. That is not a place that we have to live in or suffer in. You know, remember, we have our time and our season to be in a place of, you know, where we're learning and we're growing, where we may not have as much. But I just bind and rebuke every spirit of darkness that is trying to hinder or block the financial blessings that the Lord is trying to give us. So anywhere that the enemy has hijacked our finances, I declare that we take it back right now in the name of Jesus. Anywhere that the enemy has caged up our finances, I declare that our finances are released right now in the name of Jesus. And I, I really hope that you guys are praying right now too. We need to pray over our finances Declare that our bank accounts are covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. Declare that your jobs and every source of income that you have coming in is covered in the blood of Jesus because the enemy truly tries to come in and swipe the blessings that God has for us. But I just declare that every single plan and attack of the enemy concerning our finances is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the thing is, the enemy knows that once we are able to obtain financial blessings, we are able to advance the kingdom of God and we are able to move more powerfully because the truth is we need money. We need finances in order for us to do things here on earth. So the devil knows that if he could hold us in a place of lack, then he restricts us and he limits us to the things that we are actually able to do. 
So, Lord, we just bind every attack of the enemy to hinder our finances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that you deliver everyone right now that is on this live that may be under a demonic financial bondage. Let every demonic financial bondage that may be placed upon your people be destroyed in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we just declare right now that we break and destroy by the fire of God every covenant contract and agreement that we may have made knowingly or unknowingly in the spiritual realm, whether it's through our dreams or any other way with the spirit of poverty. If you are dreaming about, you know, giving away money or, you know, you see someone stealing your money in your, in your dreams, this is a sign that the spirit of poverty is trying to attack you. So we just bind every spirit of poverty right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that the spirit of poverty is not our portion. Father, we declare that we receive abundance, we receive wealth, we receive riches. And we just thank you, Lord, for releasing that onto us today in the name of Jesus Christ. And we just declare, Father, that when you bless us financially, we will not hoard our blessings, but we will also be a blessing to others that are in need. So we thank you right now, Father, for the financial blessing that you have placed over our life. We thank you so much right now, Father, for destroying every attack that may be on our finances. We declare right now, Father, that every chain of poverty that is attached to us spiritually is broken right now in the name of Jesus. We declare that it is broken right now in the name of Jesus by the fire of God. Every chain of poverty that is trying to hold us down and rob us of the things that you have blessed us with, Lord. Poverty is not our portion. Financial ruin is not our portion. We bind every demonic system of financial entrapment that is meant to just keep us in bondage financially, whether it's through unending bills or through accidents and emergencies where it's like no matter what you find yourself having to spend money, it's like water is going through your hands, like water, like money just can't stay in your hands. So I just declare that our money multiplies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I just declare that many of you will have a testimony after today as well concerning your finances. And I also just declare as well, Father, that your people will not only have wealth themselves, but they will be surrounded by those who have wealth as well. Because another plot of the enemy is to keep, is to keep us around those that are not financially well, that have no financial influence. So it's like he wants you to be poor and then he wants your circle to be poor. But we bind and rebuke that in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, we just declare that blessings and prosperity is ours. We receive it in the name of Jesus. Psalm 128, 2 says, you will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. So I just declare that blessings and prosperity is ours in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessings and prosperity is ours in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm going to do a prophetic act right now, too. You guys should get anointing oil if you have it. And if you don't have um, anointing oil, I'll do it for you right now. So, Father, your word in Psalm 128, 2 says this. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. So as I have this anointing oil in my hand, and as I am doing this prophetic declaration, I declare that the money that used to go through our hands like water will now stay in our hands. I declare that money will multiply in our hands in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare that many of you will have a testimony after this in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I declare that wealth and riches are in our house in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I declare that lack and poverty is not our portion. So we thank you, Lord. We will eat the fruit of our labor. We will not work like an elephant to eat like an ant. You guys know that that um, that African saying where they're like, work like an elephant, eat like an ant. That is not our portion. So I declare that miracle signs and wonders will happen for us today financially. 
I declare that debts will be paid off miraculously. I declare that credit scores will increase miraculously in the name of Jesus. Everywhere that the enemy thought he could take us down in our finances, I declare that we are able to bounce back in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father, for helping us to increase, to increase in wealth, to increase in abundance, to increase in our finances. And thank you, Father, for helping us to store our finances responsibly. When we receive every financial breakthrough that we have been praying for, Father, we just declare that we will spend our money responsibly in the mighty name of Jesus. We will not be irresponsible with our finances, Lord. I pray that you guys are praying right now too and using your voice because it's so, so powerful when you use your voice to pray for the things that you need. So Father, our credit scores are increasing miraculously. Our debts, our credit card debts, car loans are paid off. Everything that is a burden on your people, we declare financial miracles over those things right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And according to Matthew 18, 18, Father, I declare that we bind every demonic trap that the enemy may use to keep us in bondage financially. We will not remain in bondage financially, Lord. I declare that we will continue to flourish and grow in our finances. We will create those businesses that you have placed on our hearts to create. We will land those jobs that you have placed us to have. There are specific jobs out there that God has specifically for you to be positioned in where he wants to establish you. So I just declare that is our portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you guys so much for liking and sharing the live. Continue to like and share the live because I know this is going to be a blessing for others that truly, truly need it. We have to remember that we serve a God that still does miracle signs and wonders. Miracle signs and wonders is still something that is done. So I'm just declaring it over you guys that you guys will have a great testimony and you guys will come back with great testimonies and more financial abundance in the name of Jesus. So we bind every covenant, we bind every contract, we bind every agreement. We declare that it is null and void. Every covenant contract in agreement with the spirit of poverty, we declare that it is null and void right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any trap of the enemy to hold us down financially, to keep us in lack, Father, we declare that it is destroyed by your fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bind every demonic plot and every scheme against our finances in the name of Jesus Christ. For a lot of us, the enemy has been frustrating our finances for a very, very, very long time. For some of us, even as children, because of generational curses that have been over our lives. But I just declare right now that every generational curse of poverty that has been over our lives and our families is destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Every financial curse and burden of poverty, we declare that it is not our portion. It is not our portion in the name of Jesus. I declare that our finances are blessed. Our family finances are blessed. Thank you so much for the gifts, you guys. We are blessed and we will not have to work like a slave to make a decent pay because we, we serve a king. We serve a God that sits on a throne that has more than enough. And as our father, he wants to provide us with those things. So I just declare that God's favor and his abundance is over us. God's favor and abundance is over our finances. Thank you so much for that gift. So we just declare, Father, that we receive your abundance in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 44, 3 says, For I will pour out, for I will pour on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. And I will pour my spirit upon your offspring and my blessing on your descendants. So I declare that every dry place in our finances is revived right now in the name of Jesus. If anybody has a business right now, I just declare that your business is being revived. Your business receives all of the customers that the enemy may have been holding, withholding from you. I just declare that your business will prosper. 
before the end of the year, your business will see numbers that it has never seen before in the name of Jesus Christ. We will no longer operate in a place of dry ground because the Lord will bring streams. Our land may be thirsty right now, but the Lord is bringing streams into dry ground. And we thank you, Father, for pouring out your spirit upon us and our families, our offsprings. Thank you so much, Father, for your blessings being upon us and our descendants, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the financial increase in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere that the enemy has hindered us for a long time, we declare that that curse is broken in the name of Jesus. Every curse of financial for every curse of financial bondage, Father, we declare that it is broken right now in the name of Jesus. Lack and poverty is not our portion. Hindrance is not our portion. We receive an abundance of overflow in our finances. We declare that we receive raises on our jobs. We declare that we receive recognition on our jobs. We receive bonuses on our jobs in the name of Jesus Christ. And it's like for some of you, you have jobs where you're not fully recognized for the work that you're doing or you're not being promoted when you should have gotten a promotion already. So we bind every spirit of anti-promotion right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit that, that does not want to see you be promoted, I declare right now that they will watch you be promoted in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that wants to see you be rejected, they will watch you be promoted. They will watch you prosper in the name of Jesus. They will watch you receive your financial blessings. The word says, I will create a table before you in the presence of your enemies. So we declare that every, every single one of our enemies will just watch us be elevated in the name of Jesus Christ. You need a new car and a new job and you need to move. So I just truly pray that the Lord sends you financial provision so that you are able to move, so that you have money for your rent to have your car. And I pray that it is a job that you enjoy, that you can do with ease in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that your overflow of abundance and blessings just rains upon your people. I declare that your people will receive testimonies. They will receive miracles, signs, and wonders. I declare right now that the heavenly realms are open and we retrieve what is ours. We retrieve every financial blessing that has been hindered and every area where the enemy may have hijacked us. I declare that we are retrieving those things right now in the name of Jesus. I declare that contracts are being signed, job contracts are being signed, financial increases are our portion, Father. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your grace and your mercy that is upon us. You know every single one of our needs. And we just thank you right now, Father, for continuing to provide for us. We're grateful for the roof that we have over our heads, the food that we have to eat every day even though we may want more or we may feel like we need more, we know that you always provide us with exactly what we need. And even if we are in a dry season, Father, we still thank you because we know that greater is to come. We know that we will not remain in a place of stagnancy in our finances. Our finances will grow, our finances will flourish. So we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, we thank you, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Our finances are blessed. Our family's finances are blessed. Every generational curse is destroyed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. We declare that every demon that has been sitting on our finances is dethroned right now in the name of Jesus. The word says that the wealth of the, the wicked is stored up for the righteous. So we declare that we retrieve what is ours, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we will not be in a place of want. We will not be in a place of lack. We do not have to beg God for anything. God knows what we need before we even ask him for it. So let's continue to believe that God is going to provide that financial increase, that financial abundance that we have been praying for. And even if it doesn't come in the time that we may want it to come in, we know that it will come. 
because there is a season for everything in our life. So even if you don't have money right now, you will have money in the future. Even if you're struggling now, you will not be struggling financially in the future. And I just declare that we will be so responsible with our finances and our blessings, Lord. We will make investments on land and properties, real estate, and we will make our money work for us. I don't know if you guys remember that scripture. I believe it's in Luke where the, the owner, the man, he had servants and he gave them all money and they all stored the money in a different way. But the one that he had called a wicked servant was the one that had buried the money because he was like, he wanted to hold on to the money. Instead of him putting the money to work, he buried the money and he was called a wicked servant. So let's remember that when we are blessed with finances, God doesn't just want us to sit on our money. He wants us to put our money to work. And that could be like through investments, through any type of investment that the Lord has you do through business ideas. Don't just sit on the money that God has provided you with. And when you put your money to work, you are able to create different streams of income. And I believe this is such an important thing for us, especially today. We shouldn't just have one source of income. We, we definitely need to have multiple sources of income. So I pray, Father, right now that you open the door and provide multiple sources of income for your people, whether that is through business ideas, through job contracts, let your will be done in our finances, Lord. You know what is best for us. You know what is best for our families. So we trust in you to guide us in the way. And we pray that as you are guiding us, that we are clear at what, which direction we should take financially so that we can continue to increase in Jesus' name. So Father, we thank you. We thank you that you have delivered us from every demonic bondage, every curse of poverty that has been hovering over our life, Lord. We thank you so much for destroying the plans of the enemy to keep us in bondage financially. We, we are not remaining in bondage financially. Lack is not our portion. Lack is not a place that we will remain. We may be in a dry season for a short time, but that is not our permanent resting place. Abundance is our portion. We serve the most high God. He owns everything in the world, the silver and the gold, all of the money in the world. So when he sees that we are in a place where we need financially, he's not just going to leave us there so that we can be in lack or to beg him. We don't have to beg God for things. As children of God, all we have to do is declare and command because he has given us that authority. So even if you're in a season right now where things may look dry, just remember that God may be trying to test you. He may be trying to bring you to a certain place before he brings that financial increase. Because for some of us, if he brings us the financial increase too fast, we will squander it and we will completely lose it. So learn right now how to store your finances. Learn how to, you know, line up your finances every single month and see where your money is going. And truly allow God to move in that. And definitely always give, always tithe, because remember how important this truly is. Proverbs 28, 27 says, whoever gives to the poor will not want but he who hides his eyes will get many a curse. So we have to remember, this is a biblical principle here. This is a nugget that's basically revealing to us how we could actually increase in our finances. We will never be in a place of want when we give to the poor. So remember that God, he will always refresh us. Those who refresh others will be refreshed. So Father, we just pray that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven concerning our finances. Concerning our finances, Lord. 
Every demonic curse of poverty we declare has been taken down by your heavenly armies today in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for providing us with abundance as our portion. Thank you, Father, for not leaving us in a place of wants where we may have to beg. We do not have to beg you, Lord. We know that you will always provide us with what we need, even if it comes in ways that we do not want. Let's be, let's be willing to be grateful in everything that God is doing for us. Because sometimes when the blessing doesn't come in a way that you are expecting it, it, it to come, you may reject it when God is just wanting you to be grateful. So we thank you, Father, for the increase. We thank you for the abundance. Thank you for allowing that to be our portion. The blessing of the Lord make rich and adds no sorrow to it. So we declare, Father, that when we receive our blessings, that we will enjoy our blessings. And if we see any demonic spirit that is trying to come up and overtake our finances, we will stand in our authority through Jesus Christ and we will command these demons to bow to Jesus. We will command them to go in the name of Jesus Christ. These demons have no power or authority over our finances. So we will not leave room for them to have that power and authority. So we thank you, Father, for providing for us, even in our desert season, we know that you provide for us. We will continue to be patient, we will continue to be humble, and we will continue to store our finances the proper way. We will continue to give to others. And we thank you, Lord, for giving us the ability to also be a blessing to others that are in need even when we are in a place where we feel like we need, Father, thank you so much for still allowing us to be a blessing, to give to others. So Lord, we just declare that we receive our financial breakthroughs and our financial miracles before this week even ends, before this month even ends, before this year even ends. That big financial breakthrough that we are needing, we receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will not be in a place of want or lack. And we know that God will destroy every work of the devil in our finances. Because this is why Jesus Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. Thank you guys so much for liking the live, for sharing the live, for sending the gifts. I truly pray that this has been a blessing so far. And I think the most important thing for us to remember when it comes to receiving our financial blessings is just being patient with God and what God is doing. Because sometimes we want God to move faster or we want to move ahead of God. And that can truly hinder the work that God is doing in our life. So really be patient with God and what he is doing with your finances. And continue to pray over your finances Whenever your, your money comes into your account, pray over your money and just declare scriptures over your money. Because the enemy, he tries to come in at every corner that he can, but his plans will not prevail against us. You know, even in our desert season, God, he will provide, us, provide for us abundantly. Because even remember when Elijah was in the cave, God sent the raven to give Elijah meat and bread. And then he had the river to have his water. So it doesn't matter what season you're in, God will always provide for you. Even if that's going to be through a bird or an animal, or he may use another person to bless you. And we just pray, Father God, that you open up the heart's of your people that you are calling to be a blessing to someone else because we know that when we allow ourselves to be a blessing to someone else that unlocks the very miracle that they have been praying to you for so we do not want to hinder the work that you are doing in the lives of your people we will be obedient and we will be giving we will allow ourselves to be used we will allow ourselves to be a blessing even when we are looking around asking where is our miracle? Where is our breakthrough? When will you send it? 
we will still allow ourselves to be obedient to you, Lord. So we thank you, Father. We know that we're always a blessing because there is always something that we can give. There is always something that we can give someone else that is in need. It's so important for us to open up our hearts. And I know a lot of times when you are coming from lack or poverty, it can be hard because there are these strongholds that are on your mind that makes you think that what you have now is all that you will ever have. But Father, I declare right now that every stronghold of poverty that is upon our minds and our hearts is destroyed by your fire right now in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold on our minds that is causing us to operate in a place of poverty, Lord, we declare that that curse is broken in the name of Jesus. We pray your healing upon our hearts and our minds, Father, so that these strongholds will no longer take place, that these strongholds will no longer stand. And we thank you, Father, for your power and your authority that is destroying every single bit of these strongholds that is keeping us bound in our minds. We do not have to continue to operate in a place of poverty where you think that you have a little bit now and you're, you're never going to get more. That is not how it is. Money comes and money goes. Sometimes you will have more, sometimes you will have less, but that doesn't mean that you should you know, be stingy with the little that you have. Still be a blessing, still refresh others because God, he will multiply what you currently have when you do that. So Father, we thank you so much. We declare that we will remember the poor. We will remember those that need more than we do, Lord. When we are able to be a blessing to others, we will allow them to be blessed. We will not hinder what you would want to be done in their life in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Father, for allowing wealth and riches to be our portion. We thank you, Father, that poverty is no longer our portion. We do not have to live in a place of poverty. We declare that the enemy does not have authority over our finances. We bind and rebuke every spirit of poverty that thinks that they have authority over our finances. We do not come into agreement with the spirit of poverty. Lord, we declare that every cage that has been used in the spiritual realm by our enemies to hoard up our blessings. That cage is destroyed by fire and we retrieve our blessings right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every cage, Lord, we declare that we retrieve it in the mighty name of Jesus. We retrieve back every single blessing that the enemy has taken from us. We will not remain in a place of lack or wants, Lord. And we give thanks to you today, Father, for every single blessing that you have in store for us. And that is truly our portion. We are truly blessed. And we have the authority through Jesus Christ to command these things spiritually. But also remember to be patient and watch and see what the plans of God is. And do not run ahead of God. Do not move ahead of God because you think that things should be a certain way. Still allow God to move. Because I think a lot of times it's so easy to grow weary and tired when you are in a place where you are constantly, constantly feeling like you need finances, you need provision, you need blessings. But continue to wait on God, wait on his plan, wait on his perfect plan for your life and see what it is that he does for your finances. See how he will, you know, bless you in the future. So Father, we thank you. We thank you. We declare that we have retrieved our financial blessings. We take it right now in the name of Jesus. We take our financial blessings back from the hands of the enemy that, has, that may have stolen it from us spiritually. And Father, we bind and rebuke every monitoring spirit that is just watching and waiting to see when you pour out your blessings into our hands so that they can try to hinder it in some, some way, shape, or form. We declare that we gouge out the eyes of every monitoring agent and we sever their eardrums and they have no power or authority to operate against us any longer, Lord. We thank you, Father, for destroying the works of the enemy in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. And we just declare that we command our blessings right now in Jesus' name. 
And we declare that we receive our blessings sevenfold. Because the thief has been caught in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual thief, every spiritual robber that has stolen from us, we declare that they have been caught in the mighty name of Jesus. So we command them to return to us sevenfold of what they have stolen from us in the name of Jesus Christ. And we declare that this is the day of miracle signs and wonders. We will see miracle signs and wonders happen in our finances in the name of Jesus. Come on, guys, let's pray. We will see the miracle signs and wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demonic plot and scheme upon our finances is destroyed in the name of Jesus. The enemy's plans will not prosper against our finances any longer. We will not remain ignorant to the devices of the enemy. We will no longer stay silent when we see the enemy coming up against our finances, whether God shows us in a vision or in a dream. We will bind and rebuke those dreams in the name of Jesus, and we will declare that those dreams will not come to pass. Because a lot of times what the enemy, what the Lord does is shows the plans of the enemy, what the enemy is trying to do to our finances to hinder us on our jobs or in things like that. So when he is showing us these things, we have to pray against them. We cannot just, you know, sit back and just say like, oh, this is just what's going to happen. Pray against these things. Do not allow the enemy to have a foothold over you, especially when God is showing you the plan of the enemy. So we, we thank you, Father, for showing the hand of the enemy in our life. We declare that we will rise up and we will be warriors in prayer. We will use our voice and we will speak in our authority. We will rise up in boldness and we will not allow the enemy to overtake us in any way, shape or form. Our families are blessed. Our finances are blessed. Our bank accounts are, are blessed. Our businesses are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. And just, just make sure that if you are borrowing money from anybody, make sure that you can pay it back because the word says that you are the borrower is a slave to the lender. We are not called to be slaves in the body of Christ. If you know that you cannot pay somebody back, do not ask them for money and do not borrow money. Do not create all of these debts in your life that will be difficult for you to pay off because you're just putting yourself in a deeper, a deeper hole. So Father, we will continue to trust in you for our financial provision. We will make wise financial choices. We will be responsible with our finances. We will make the right investments. We will consult with you, Lord, to see where you want us to invest our money. Because the Lord will show us exactly where he wants us to invest our money. And then when we start to invest in those areas that he has ordained for us, we will see that great increase, that abundance and that flow in our finances. So I pray that the Lord makes it known where he would like us to begin to gain our financial wealth. For some of you, it may be starting a YouTube channel, starting a online business, starting a clothing brand. These are the things that we need to consult God for so that we can wisely steward our money. And then continue to pray over your business, continue to pray over the financial growth and be patient and watch and see what God does. Because sometimes we think that with God, it's going to be like an overnight success, but that's not the case every time. You know, we have to be willing to work our way from the bottom up, but that doesn't mean that God will not allow there to be like a huge breakthrough and overflow of abundance in our finances as time goes on. So really be patient and do not give up. Continue to consult with God and see what it is that he is wanting to do with your finances. You know, a lot of us, a lot of times we think that we just need to stay at one job for our entire life. But a lot of times God is calling us to start our own businesses and, you know, to be entrepreneurs and to be the ones that hire other people. So really recognize the positioning that God really wants for you. When you allow yourself to be stuck on one job, you are limiting yourself. So do not, do not allow yourself to be limited in your finances and continue to seek God and see what it is that he wants for you. 
So I just declare once again, Father, that we will eat the fruit of our labor and blessing and pro blessings and prosperity is our portion in the name of Jesus, according to Psalm 128, 2. Blessings and prosperity is ours in the name of Jesus. And we will be patient as we are waiting, as we are building ourselves up. And something that a lot of us have to recognize as well is that when there is a curse of poverty that may have been on your bloodline, it is going to be a little bit more of a fight for you to build yourself up financially because of that spirit that has hindered your bloodline for so long. But once you have risen out of that, it is going to be so, so great. And the blessing, it won't just be for yourself, but it will be for the generations that come after you, your children, your children's children. And when you store it responsibly, it is just going to be an everlasting thing that continues to be passed down. So continue to fight and do not you know, grow weary or discouraged. I believe a lot of times what God wants us to do is start our own businesses. And as we are you know, in, in our small stage of business, we still can work a regular job, but then after our business takes off, that's when we could really focus on our business. But for now, I truly pray that, you know, the Lord allows miracle signs and wonders to happen for us financially. Debts being cleared, you know, credit card debts being cleared, car loans being cleared, school fees being cleared. I just pray that these things happen for us miraculously in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and our credit scores increasing in the mighty name of Jesus. And I don't know what it has been for me. My, my credit score has been going up and I'm just like, God, I haven't really been doing anything. So I just pray that that favor is on your, you guys as well. I pray that your credit scores go up in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your credit scores go up miraculously. Let there be money in your bank accounts miraculously in the name of Jesus Christ. So we thank you, Father. We declare that we receive abundance. We receive your favor. We declare that wealth and riches is in our house in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And every demonic scheme to keep your people in bondage, we declare that that is destroyed in the name of Jesus. We will not remain in financial bondage. And even the people around us, they will not remain in financial bondage. Amen. Our Lord and Savior has said it is finished. And when he has spoken, it is finished. He has spoken that over everything. And Galatians 3.13 says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. So I just declare that every curse of poverty is broken right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus died for us to be set free from curses. So every curse of poverty in our bloodline that the enemy has been trying to hold us down in, I declare that that is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. The scripture says that Jesus became poor so that we may become rich. So I just declare right now that he did not do that in vain. We receive that in the name of Jesus. Jesus did not do that in vain for us. We receive the riches that Jesus has intended for us to receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will not be in a place of lack, in a place of want. We will not be in a place where we are begging. We will not continuously be in a place where we're wondering how we're going to pay our bills, our rents, our cars. We are going to be able to pay our bills with ease and be a blessing to the people around us. And we just thank you, Father God, for your favor being upon us. We thank you for multiplying the finances that we have in our hands. We thank you so much for storing up financial blessings for us. And we declare that we, re we receive that in your perfect timing in the name of Jesus. And everyone here will have a testimony. Everyone here will have a financial breakthrough testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because increase is our portion. Blessings is our portion. We will not remain in a place of financial stagnancy or financial hindrances in Jesus' name. So we thank you, Father. We thank you. We thank you.
We thank you for allowing abundance to be our portion. We thank you for your glory and your favor and your honor that is over us, Lord. We declare that everywhere we go, we are favored. We are favored by others. Others, they just have this need inside of them to help us everywhere that we go because of you, Lord, because of your spirit that is upon us. We declare that we will go to grocery stores and our groceries will be paid for in the name of Jesus. So we thank you, Father, for the provision, the increase, the abundance. Thank you for destroying every form of lack and bondage that has been placed over us in the name of Jesus. And Father, I just pray that you remove any veil, any blinders that is on our eyes that is keeping us blind to the, the very thing that it is that you want us to do. If you have us at a specific job at this time, Father, I just pray that you show us what move do you want us to make next for our finances to grow, for us to receive that financial increase and in provision. Show us our next move. Show us what steps we should take next, Father. Help us to be knowledgeable in the plans that you have for us. And thank you for helping us to be financially literate. Thank you so much for helping us to be financially responsible. Thank you for helping us to have a giving heart. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. So I truly, truly pray that this has been a blessing to you guys. And I truly pray that your financial provisions are provided in the name of Jesus. This week will not end without you receiving your financial breakthrough. This month will not end without you receiving your financial breakthrough. This year will not end without us receiving our financial breakthrough, something that we have never seen before in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because we serve a God that does miracles, signs, and wonders. So that is our portion. Have faith and truly believe that. That is our portion. And we know, Father, that you are a king. We serve a king. And he has actually ordained us to be royalty as well. The word says that we are a, cho a chosen generation, royal priesthood. So we need to remember that. When you are royalty, you do not remain in a place of lack. You do not remain in a place of want. You do not remain stagnated or delayed or hindered. So we just declare that is our portion. So as I end, I just want to thank you guys for coming on today. And remember, I do these lives every Monday through Friday at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you guys also want to join my Bible study Zoom, definitely send me an email to join the WhatsApp group. But I also have the link in my um, description and the link in my in my bio if you guys want to join the Bible study Zoom. So I do that every Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the replays for these these lives, I will always post it on my YouTube channel as well if you guys missed it. So if you guys want to watch it later on. And for those of you in my Bible study, today we are on Proverbs 12. So we are reading a chapter of Proverbs a day. If you guys want to join in on that, you can. It is so important for us to feast on the word of God. Proverbs is filled with so much wisdom and knowledge. And that is what we really need as believers. We need to be filled with wisdom and knowledge and discernment. So I truly pray that you guys would join in and you know start reading proverbs we will be done with the entire book of proverbs by september 15th oh and to sow into this ministry um i believe in my link tree i believe my my cash app and my paypal are connected so you could sow through my cash app and paypal and it should be in my link tree i believe if you scroll all the way to the bottom i should still have it there and I just thank you guys so, so much for those of you who are planning to sow. 
you know, God has me in ministry full time and it's definitely not easy, but God definitely provides. So I thank you guys so much. And I know that a lot of us are needing financial provisions. That's why today he had me pray for financial provisions because he showed me something yesterday. I was just like, oh, no. Like after he showed me that, I was like, we need to pray for our finances. And when it comes to, you know, receiving finances, it's so much more than having money. You need to have financial literacy as well. So that is pretty much it for today. I pray that you guys have been blessed by today's word. And I will see you guys next week at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on TikTok. And we will be back and we will be praying. And again, if you want to join my WhatsApp group, um, send me an email to join and I will send you the invite link for the WhatsApp group. But I, I truly pray that you guys are blessed and I am truly believing that you guys will come back with testimonies. And if you guys also, if you guys were part of my deliverance and healing conference and you, you know, you have a testimony that you want to share, definitely, you know, send it to me through email because you know, healing and deliverance happened and it was just honestly such a blessing to see God move. And I want to continue in the work of God. I want to, it's so encouraging to see, you know, the work of God being manifested in our lives. It's so, so encouraging, especially when you're doing ministry. So that is pretty much it. I pray that you guys are blessed today. I know that some of you guys on here also didn't get any sleep at all. Some of you guys did not sleep at all, but I truly pray that you have a blessed day, that you enjoy the rest of your day today. And I just declare that again, wealth and riches are in our house. Prosperity is our portion and you know, lack is not our, our final destination. Debts will be paid off miraculously. Credit scores will increase miraculously in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So that is our portion as sons and daughters to the most high king in jesus name so i love you guys and i will see you guys next week